Hi, my name is Bob Greener and I'm a volunteer with the Martin Fleischmann Memorial Project. Today I was going to take a quick look at the bend in the Cantal wire on the Lion 2 reactor. And this was uh, placed over one of the swirls, the left hand swirl you'll see here. And you can actually see the end of the reactor, if I can get my finger in there. And you can see how it was kind of outside of the uh, containment of the reactor. But uh, here it is as it was uh, placed when we disassembled uh, the reactor itself. So this is the bend in the wire we were just looking at. Uh, here is the spiral going around this way and the spiral going around this way. This one appears to kind of almost be on top of this one. Um, and uh, you can see here this kind of hole or, or uh, um, affected area on the corner uh, of the bend in the Cantal wire. So here it is under the microscope. That is the bend. Maybe you can see a kind of little dark area, possibly not on this camera, uh, that was sitting over the uh, left hand of these two on the um, quartz. Now the very interesting thing about this uh, piece of quartz is that the affected um, quartz is only on the outside of the quartz. So there's the reactor core end that is kind of coming into this part uh, of the quartz uh, tube furnace liner. And it's not affected on the inside of the glass, it's only affected on the outside. Now hold that in mind as we move forward. So what I've done is I've taken a whole bunch of images on the microscope and uh, <clears throat> uh, I've just arranged one here uh, and thrown it over the top. So this is what it looks like on the microscope with a, only a little bit of specularity. So the polarization is turned off. And the spiraling going around here on this uh, uh, one of the pair, um, it does appear to be going around this way. This appears to be going around this way. And um, this is, if you can imagine that, it's kind of like brought up like that. Um, and you can see this, maybe, uh, this kind of, changed area here and this changed area here that corresponds to that changed area here and that changed area here so it's this, definitely the same feature we're looking at and if this is uh, relating to this the spiraling is going around this way and it does seem to fit that pattern and we've got our center spot in the middle here so i just want to take you through a whole bunch of images that i've taken and these will be available for download in the link uh, in the description of this video so here's kind of an overview shot uh, with specularity. So you can see this kind of almost like a built up area here in the depression. Uh, this is the only sort of image that shows the same sort of uh, kind of uh, pentagonal feature uh, that we have here. Um, so I'm going to uh, go through a couple of images. So this is that and this is going in a bit closer. Uh, and you can see now it's interesting because uh, there's this area that's kind of got a red tone the spot is about the same as the outside here and then it has this kind of almost like yeah, I mean it almost looks like calcium type of deposit on here who knows uh, I think this may well be I'll probably say this again before the video is out one of the most interesting things to look at under SEM and so I wanted to study it in situ uh, before I cut this out um, uh, for uh, later study. So um, here it is moving right in close. So you can really see there's different areas. This is, uh, you know, Cantal has some aluminium in it and some of that you, you, you condition it so that it comes to the surface. So this might be some aluminium, aluminium oxide. This is clearly something very different around this area. And then we've got something here and then something here. And then there maybe this looks similar to the outside. Uh, I don't know, there seems to be some real hole etching going on there. So this is um, with a little less on the specular, uh, but it's more uh, flat on. Uh, so you can see uh, what's going on there. Maybe I can uh, zoom in on that a bit more. Uh, so it, it almost looks like a, a hurricane system, uh, you know tornado type structure. You, you see those satellite photos of hurricanes from above. And here it is with more of the uh, specularity turned off, so a bit more polarization. And we're starting to see a lot of red coming through here. This looks very, very different from this. So I really cannot wait to get this under the microscope. 
and uh, see what we are seeing um, in terms of if there's any elements uh, in here that uh, should not be in Cantal wire. Uh, and here it is, slightly different angle. And uh, this is a, a more of an overview. Uh, so I can go into that. Uh, and then this is a real kind of close-up shot. I'll go into that a little bit more. So very clear kind of central feature here, this area with the spiraling going on. Almost looks like it's pulled stuff in here and thrown it out over here. Um, and I've done some measurements here, so uh, the whole structure radius is so it's uh, 0.9 of a millimeter all the way across the affected area. Um, and this central spot is uh, a radius of uh, uh, 38 approximately uh, micrometers. So um, that gives you some idea of the scale. And this is the other side. And this was a bit of a surprise to me. Uh, uh, there is no, doesn't look even look like it's been affected at all. So it would seem that um, on on the top side here, it's affected with the hole, just like on the top side of the quartz here, it's affected. But on the undersides of both, it doesn't appear to be any effect whatsoever. Let's just clarify what I'm trying to say there. So on the top side, you have this extreme effect going on uh, that we see here in the two different kind of views. This was taken with the D7 macro lens, uh, and this is with the uh, digital microscope, Dynalite. And uh, so it's affected this top surface just as a, is it as whatever it is has affected the top of the quartz here. But it hasn't affected the inside of the quartz and the underside of the Cantal wire. How? I mean, is it is it something that's coming straight down here? Uh, is this coming up? Is there some sort of loop when it's coming down, boom, like that? But I don't understand how it would do so much damage on the top side and not on the underside. Not so much effect on the top side and not so much on the underside. I just... I'm continually amazed how this Lion Reactor keeps delivering mysteries and uh, get your thinking caps on, see, see what you think this might be. Anyway, this is the last time it's going to be whole because I am going to cut that bit of wire out, that section out, and uh, it's going to be one of the pieces that I hope to look at under the SEM with EDS next week. and. Um, could this be something that allows us to really understand if this is a, a, an EVO or some sort of uh, beam or, or, or some sort of prominence that's coming out of the Lion Reactor and has moved in, in, and got stuck with whatever the electrical and magnetic field was um, and made by the wire and the solenoid of the heater coil at this space in the oval reactor. Um, could we have trapped an EVO in position and is this going to tell us something, the, the elemental uh, variation across this, is this going to tell us something about what an EVO can do in terms of transmutation? I have no idea, but I can tell you I am so looking forward to analysing it. Um, uh, wow, uh, thank you to Lion. Again, uh, you know, I've had this for m more than, uh, I guess, 18 months. And as you get no new tools to look at it, uh, it, it kind of reveals some more of its mysteries. But could this part of Lion tell us what an Evo can do? Is it going to say we've got something in here, which is basically out here? I don't know if that's kind of what it looks like. Um, and... What is going on with this? Is this something that was maybe this is carbon rich or, or maybe it's copper and copper oxide rich and maybe it's it's grabbed those elements from the core and, and, and from the heater coil that was around uh, the uh, reactor, which actually you can see if you can look inside there. That's the actual core is being held inside there. So you can see that the heater wire 
wrapped around here and this is the affected area and it broke off here and that's that's the break you see up up, up at this end um is has this got some this redness of, reminds me of the cu 2 crystals uh and you know did it grab all that material as it was coming through and come to here but what is this what is this is this is this just aluminium oxide or you know is it is it calcium i don't know i'm i'm so looking forward to uh analyzing this so that's about it for this video thank you very much for your time i look forward to seeing you in a next video